Yo, what is it, boys? It's me, Hyder, and I'm recording my first episode of best ten skin, ten best skins from the workshop, from the Steam Workshop, CS:GO, whatever. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So our first skin for today is the SSG08 Infected Trooper. Nice detailed skin with um, looks like a dragon there, and um, his tooth. The combination of blue and pink is really cool, and yeah, I think if this skin will be added, it will be a red, or maybe a pink, but not not a purple, for sure. Okay, our second uh, weapon is the Og Blue Wolf. This skin is just so much dope, I like it so so much, I mean so much that, I don't know, I would just have sex with it, if I could. and. Um, no comments there. I think this will be a red if this will be added. But knowing Valve, they may add it as pink if they would. Um, okay, our third skin is the 5 7 Revenge. Nice combination between black and yellow. But at the cover photos, you can see that it's so shiny and gold. But in game, it looks more like purple. I mean, more like orange. Um, that may be because um, this is the shader detail was off and stuff like that, but I don't know, still the skin looks cool. And um, yeah, our fourth, fourth gun, I mean a rifle, I mean sniper rifle, is the G3SG1 Cybernetic. Again, this skin just looks so cool, so much detail. You can see this is original and um, just quality skin even though it's the G3SG1 still looks cool and I would have it if I could and um, I think this will be pink or maybe a red not a purple for sure okay our fifth skin is the MK9 Fidero and the cool thing about this skin is that as you see it has different patterns and um, it can just be a full red one, or maybe a full black with some red border and just stuff like that. And it may depend. And I don't know. I mean, people will depend on the price of the skin. I mean, it will just be cool to have the skin. And um, yeah, let's go to the sixth skin. It's the PP Bison Furious. And again, you cannot really say anything about it, just so much detail into it, looks just dope. And um, it looks cool, but I don't think it will be red, because there is already the DPV Bison Judgment of Anubis. And uh, this will be, this will go as a pink maybe, if it will go. And um, yeah, let's go to the 7th skin, and um, of course it's the MAC-10 Wasteland Rebel. Uh, the third masterpiece to the Wasteland Rebel collection. I mean, like, look, the first pistol round, you have the Glock Wasteland Rebel, you just kill everyone. The second round, you buy armor and the Mac 10 Wasteland Rebel. Again, nice collection. And on the third round, just buy your AK Wasteland Rebel. And uh, this is just so cool. I think this skin will fully fit the theme of the gangster terrorist. And uh, it will be surely added as a red skin. Um, yeah. Okay, our eighth skin is the Tech 9 Piranha. Um, again, it looks like um, a cartoon themed skin. Um, the, the tip of the gun looks like um, something like the Tech 9 re entry. But anyway, Tech 9 looks so cool. I would say it will be added as a pink or maybe a red. The first red Tech 9, I don't know. And yep. Yeah. So here is our ninth skin, the P250 Blood Flow. Um, this skin is made by the, the guy who made the M41 and Golden Coil. And the cool thing about it is just look. If it's factory new, it's all covered, covered in uh, paint. If it's field tested, there is just some um, scrapes. 
but on battles card if it's fully battles card i mean like really battles card it can go to like um just only the red and just the blood flow and um it looks like the handle like there is a bottle full of blood and so stuff like that and i think this skin can just be a nice p250 that many persons will use and uh, yeah our 10 skin and the ending skin for this episode is um, in my opinion the best op between the dragon lore and anything so just look at it it's just so much detail and uh, I think it's the first creepy based skin I mean look it it can go on the level of the Medusa and I think this can go like not in a case but in a collection like gods and monsters and be the red skin there and the very rare and um, yeah sorry for that mouse click it just depends on the quality I mean look it's just so cool in game um, yeah that was pretty much our first episode guys if you want just go in the description and um, press yes on each of these items in the workshop so maybe one day we can see them in the game and just be just I don't know satisfied about it and yeah I'll see you in the next episode bye